Hey, what's up guys? It's Kiefer, Toolaholic, and I just want to give you a quick look inside the new M18 Red Lithium High Demand 9.0. I just got this, brand new from Milwaukee, just shipped today. So if you want to take a look at how this was packaged, uh, go to my Instagram account, at Toolaholic. I show um, a video basically showing the box and how it came wrapped up. It is class 9, it was very well protected. It came with a shipping declaration form to show that it was class 9. But uh, yeah, check it out on Instagram. This is just about the battery. First, we'll take a look at the size. So I have here a uh, Red Lithium 4.0, pretty standard issue. You can find these anywhere. So this is just a little bit wider. It's gonna be hard to get a perspective of this, but it's five and a quarter. You can see this little nib at the back here. Five and a quarter front to back, and it's roughly three and a half on height and width is basically identical so that's pretty much it an extra row of cells and just a little bit bigger pretty cool so this contains 15 18650 cells I'll show you how that is all packed in there so the cap comes right off there's nothing fancy about the cap the springs are inside for the latch here that's it and then we can see the circuit board. This is the cell management board and it's protected, it's sprayed. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick this up, but you can just catch a little shine there. So it's sprayed in some sort of protectant or lacquer or some sort of coating, but all of these connections, that would be to protect against corrosion. So because you can see here, there's no seal or anything, this goes for any battery. Water can get in, especially if you have your light or drill or whatever it is out in the rain. So water can get in, but if it does, it needs a way of getting out. So that's where this comes in. The rest of the case has drainage holes uh, along the bottom. So it's completely open. And if water does get in, these four are for screws, but it would just be the perimeter. They're drainage holes, breathing holes, whatever you want to call it. But that's essentially the shell. Now the cage interesting I can't open it up without popping these all apart these are all uh, spot welded to the cells so unfortunately very similar to the DeWalt in construction can't open up but I was able to get a glim glimpse here so there's a little bit of a brown you know you can see the shell of the cell itself and up here says 4 LG so I did some digging and I came up with LG HG2, so the battery itself is a LG HG2, 3000 milliamps, so 3 amp hour, 18650. It looks like nominal capacity here, maximum continuous discharge current, 20 amp. This was the only one I could find, so if you find something else that's a brown HG2 LG cell, let me know. But that looks like the cell that's in here, and similar configuration to the DeWalt, where it's not pack, 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 it looks like it's a pack, a pack, a pack. So this long story is it's basically three 3.0 compact packs joined together to make a 9.0. And that's essentially it. You can't really open it much further than that. No switches on this. There's no, it's just 18 volts, which not a bad thing to say just 18 volts, but you can see here, it looks like these, um, battery bars wrap right around and there there's a cooling section here so I guess if there's any built up heat it's allowed to be what shedded off and this it's like a little miniature heat sink I'm assuming that's what that's for that's basically it if you guys want to take a look at more tools the internals of tools please subscribe if you have any requests for tools that you'd like to see the insides of give me a shout in the comments and other than that Keep your eye open on Instagram. I'm going to um, test this in the new fuel miter saw. All right, thanks for watching.